listening to Audio Mental Podcasts. Make sure you subscribe and like. And make sure you tell your friends that we are a show. All right, everybody. You like Christmas? You like hanging out with the family? You like chimneys and fire logs? Yuletide log. (laughs) Well, KFC is offering a... A, a fire log that has eleven herbs and spices into it. Like how do they make? How do they put it into the wood? I don't know how they. They make infuse that. the wood, just Wait, like so. a, like a hickory smoke or something. Okay. You know, so okay. you could smoke KFC the whole time you're at home for three hours. Well, I think you could buy them for what eighteen ninety nine online. Nineteen bucks on, uh, yeah. for on Walmart. Walmart.com. and they're probably sold out. And your whole your whole house will smell like fried chicken. What's next? Different Big Mac, flavors, huh? Big Mac logs. <laughs> right. I mean, this is the beginning of no. a whole. Of a, whole right. new, of a whole new market. Sure. No. I, I see what you're saying. What about shit logs, like a prank log? Sure. <laughs> yeah, probably. Well, Invent it. Well, you know, I went to the movie theater, and it was in 4D. And you put on 3D glasses, but you can they have, you can smell things. Oh. You feel water. I went and saw Blade Runner. I was smelling new. a couple things, too, but there was a guy sitting next to me. <laughs> right, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well... Uh, you know, tell us what you think, folks. What uh, what smell would you want to smell in your fireplace? Stay tuned. The Audio Missile Podcast will be right back. Okay, so imagine, Cordell, you put a vegetarian pizza in the oven, <laughs> and then you start smelling meat a few minutes later. Ooh. And you go and investigate, and papa, what do you see? Oh, smoke. Well, obviously, you heard what happened in North Carolina. We're what state? North Carolina. No, in a state of panic. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm telling you, they were. They had to call the fire department because they had put a pizza in the oven, and then 10 minutes later, it started smoking. They called 911, and it turns out... Like a it, joint? Yeah. <laughs> no, I think that's illegal there, my boy. <laughs> well, well, it turns out it was a snake. So a snake crawled in the oven because it was warm. Yeah, because of the pilot light or whatever and the and broiler. And So uh, is PETA going to go fuck with them? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. no, the snake was broiled. You know, so some people like of, snake. It tastes like chicken. Yeah, Can you put it? Of, so they put it on their pizza and eat it. Is that the question? No, it was smoking up so bad, and it set off the fire alarms. And they they called the they they didn't know what was going on until the the fire department came out and they go, yeah, you got a snake you got <laughs> in your oven. Did you have, have some snake, snake with in the your grass? Pizza? <laughs> right, right. Well, you know, uh, you got to be careful with the exploding devices, exploding snakes. You heard about the the girl who had a vape pen and uh, exploded in her backpack. In her backpack. Oh, yeah, yeah she on New Year's Eve and she went and it into burned a, her severely. Yeah, oh, she went into shit. a Rite Aid or something, I think, and uh it blew up in her backpack and it burned twenty percent of her of her oh, body fuck. there. And you know, I've seen wow. pictures. Yeah, so yeah. So dangerous carrying those vape pens around. Yeah. What's your body about that bootleg crap at the swami? Right. Young kids Who are knows? messing around. We were talking about yeah, those. Buy vape the real pens. shit, don't buy that bootleg crap. That shit blew up that big. Like You know, they're they're janky. You know, they sell them, like I said, but you don't know what's in them. Chemicals, different flavorings. Yeah, you don't know if cheap, it's going to blow up. It's the battery. It's a cheap battery. Cheap batteries cheap blow Cheap batteries, up. yeah. So, you know, be careful out there, folks, with yeah. the exploding vape pens. And uh, speaking of uh, fires, there's a lot of stuff happening in Australia, huh? Ah, yeah. Sad, yeah, yeah. No, that's on a sad note. That you know, sad. we talked about the koalas last time. Yeah, 30% those fires of the world koala. Well, no, probably, there's probably no, more now. It's no, no. Like or yeah, half a billion like animals yeah. have died since then. It's increased. What well, we got? What fifteen million acres of burned? Uh, half a billion animals have died, and it's spreading. And so it's getting why worse. Can, each why week. can't they the, stop the fire? What's going on over there? They don't have fire trucks. They don't have planes. What's going on? Well, they, they didn't prepare for it correctly. The aboriginals warned them about these bushfires, and they thought they had it uh, contained. And you know, right now there's a fire the size of Manhattan. And it's causing uh, these freak thunderstorms and crazy electrical uh, yeah. lightning waves. And it's going off across the country. So they, they're going to be able to time travel over there in Australia. Oh, right. No, real. no. It, it does look surreal. You know, and so people are donating to it right now. So far, you had Pink, half a million. We saw okay. Nicole Kidman and her, her husband gave half a million. Because it, it doesn't look like it's going to stop. It's getting worse each weekend. It's getting hotter. 111 uh, degrees. Well, speaking of you fires, know, thunderstorms. Are the, are the Amazon uh, fires off? No, are those still, are going too. And oh, who's the planet's too? on fire, so my boy. So who's sending money to the Amazon? No, Nobody. people don't care about that. So we this, know about that. That's our oxygen lung. That's how we breathe right there. You know, uh, uh, South America, know, screw you. You know, it's funny that you said you. that. It, 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 350 million tons of carbon dioxide, the fire in Australia is giving off right Fuck. now. So we're sucking that shit up eventually. In right? New yeah. Zealand, it's becoming like a, they're blanketed in it. 
even mm-hmm. though their their country's not on fire, they're just breathing First in question, all this. Do they believe in global warming? Or are they deniers? They, they, I think they do now, my boy. They have, they have, have to, to feel burn well, down there. They believe in it, right? 20 people have died. Thousands of homes have been destroyed. Like I said, over 15 million acres wow. so far. And it's getting so worse. Not, they well, cannot contain it. They're, they're, fire, they're flying in uh, firefighters from around the world. We relate, wow. we relate with you guys because over know, here in California, we get fires all the time. So, you know, folks out there, you know, say a prayer for, for Australia, and, you know, in these fires. Or and, better uh, yet. Instead of saying a prayer, send some money down there. They need money. Send some money to South America, to the Amazon, too. They need your cash to rebuild, to plant trees, you know, to help out. Right. Uh, put, yeah, put your money where your mouth is. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, well, so yeah. those thoughts and prayers don't work all the time. So, but money does. So make sure you send some cash money out there. Money does always work. Stay tuned. The Audio Missile Podcast will be right back. Okay. We had a couple of NFL stories talk about how they give away, uh, paid away layaways and yeah, all the other stuff. Like that. And they're always getting into stuff, either where it's assaulting women or burglaries <laughs> or drug use <laughs> or some crap. But now we have a different NFL story. What's going on, Cordell? Well, it, it's a team that you like, the Ravens. The Baltimore Ravens, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And it started November 17th. Uh, they won a game over Houston. Okay. And they came up with a saying where, where you know, he says, out oh, trust. Trust? Well, it's, it's, a, it's like a... A slang version of it. Oh, like trust. What the yeah, team? yeah, yeah. T R U S S. Okay. And it started with uh, Lamar Jackson came up with it, and then later Mark Ingram added to that big trust. Like trust me, you know, you better trust me. We're gonna win. You yeah, know, yeah, big so, trust. Yeah, yeah. So the fans cool. start chanting it at the games. Trust, big trust, big trust, big trust, trust, yeah, yeah, trust, yeah, yeah. Big trust. And so he's like, you know what? He's gonna do a T-shirt line. He started coming up with T-shirts, and, and the coach talking about it, and uh. He went down to the office to apply, and it turns out one of their fans bought the name uh, what a out dick. from underneath them. Wow, what a fucking Big weasel trust. kind of fan. Well, yeah. well, you can't trust no one. No. <laughs> what, what an asshole. Well, you should come up with it just says trust no one. Right. Really? No, I know. I know. Oh, that's a good one, my boy. You know, his name is Lance Roll. You know, and he says he hopes to work with the team. What a douchebag. He would like to partner up but with them smart. on the merchandise. He's smart, yeah. though. The NFL, you know what, yeah, Lance? He is smart, though. You're not a douchebag. You're smart because the NFL has plenty of money. True. And, you know, all their old players are fucking getting concussion-related diseases and illnesses and stuff. So, yeah, get them for their money. Why not? <laughs> trust <laughs> trust me. They got the money. Right. They do, they do got the money. Well, you know what they call that? Um, squatting. So that's what they're going to sue him is on squatter rights, saying that he's squatting on the name. Like Trademark had, squatting? Yeah, that's where you know somebody's going to do something and you you take the name out faster than them. Well, the geeks did that when and what, what with if the dot coms. They bought like Coca-Cola.com, right. McDonald's.com, and they had to buy them back. You know, wow. a, a, a lot of money. You know, and you and me know about people doing that, stealing names and stuff. It, you know, like if you're in New York. Yeah, they stole our name one you time. You can buy the name because they're open three hours earlier. And so we're waiting wow. for, you know, and by the time... In but he LA, could go, he could go online now and do everything right, online. Right, but sometimes it, it's posted to the next business day oh, based on your IP address. So huh. th- this guy went down there, registered the name, and, and they're, they're actually made T-shirts. Well, can the guy sue the fan? That's what they're doing. I mean, <laughs> he can prove that he came up with big trust. Yep, yep. And he is big trust. Well, we'll keep you updated, folks. And, we'll see what happens. You know. Shit. El misil de audio regresa en un momento. No se vayan, por favor. Okay, well, we're used to seeing fake uh, Gucci bags and fake jeans and fake stuff. Fake news. But now there's <laughs> but now there's fake food. What's going on? Oh my boy. Well, you like fish and chips? Have you? you yeah, had, I've had yeah. fish and chips once or one, once or yeah. twice, but well, I'm not like getting in line for it. It turns out there's a problem in England with the vinegar and the fish and chips. They have fake. They've been serving fake vinegar all these years in that fish and chips in England. So is there like a vinegar shortage, or what, what's the reason they're using fake vinegar? No, well, it turns out it's called a non-brewed condiment, and what it is, it, it's similar to vinegar, but it's a mixture of ethanolic acid. It's like an ethanol derivative. So it's like gasoline, something ethanol? mixed with yeah. water, food coloring, artificial flavoring. Nasty. You know, and the law in England says you can't put it in a vinegar bottle or say it's vinegar, but people got used to it all these decades. All the fish and chips in England, they've been serving this stuff. So they barely. So how come they don't use real vinegar? That, that's cheaper or what? Yeah, cheaper. And, and how much cheaper? Like a dollar cheaper? Or what? Yeah. Is it a you big know, difference? You no, know, because well, real vinegar is made by brewing and malting barley into an ale, and then you allow it to ferment into vinegar. But yeah. you know, 
What about the pineapple vinegar? Now, but now, in, <laughs> now, let me tell you what's going on. Okay, because of halal and some of the kosher stuff in England, you're not allowed to have a fermented beverage mm. in Islam. So, so for mm. you to eat a food at a certain place. So this is a form of a, a condiment that's halal or kosher because it's not fermented. Like it's not it. alcohol. So, so, so normally you could, they can't have vinegar, but now they can. No, even they can't have some, some fermented stuff. They can't have But this that. is not fermented. Right, that's why they're that's why they're doing this stuff because it's non fermented, but it tastes like vinegar and all. It's made from, like I said, ethanol, water, food so coloring. So there's a large population of Jews in England, or what? yeah, yeah, definitely yeah, that they control so. the food there, and, and also of as, as people that are into Islam, and so you got kosher okay. and halal because halal uh -huh. is what uh, kosher is in Islam. Okay, and Makes so sense. you know they call it chip shop vinegar. Chip shop vinegar. You know, <laughs> do they have it in America? Because uh, you know, we're yeah, they got it in those little packets. All that time, I thought it was malt vinegar. That it's not malt vinegar. What does it say on the package? Ah, read it next time you see it. You know, yeah, I gotta read it next time. Yeah, three hundred eighty-two million servings of fish and chips per year they eat in England. Like eighty percent of the country goes to a fish and chip place I once a year. It. Yeah, I believe. You know, it. and speaking of the fake fish and chip stuff, you, you uh, guacamole. Ever yeah. in Mexico, did you ever have the fake guacamole? Look, I never had. Have you ever never heard of fake guacamole, my I never boy? Heard of this. Oh, oh, yeah. if you go to you the, the town, about that. okay, look. Guacamole is expensive. Avocados are expensive. Yeah. Okay. So these taco people that sell tacos on the street, uh -huh. they need to make, they sell dollar, dollar fifty dollar tacos. Yeah. So they start using real avocados. I don't think they're going to make any money. Plus avocados only once a year, certain times. Yeah. So yes. how do you have avocado year so round? So whenever you see this like watery guacamole that they give you like at Carl's Jr., they give you their guacamole burgers and at Taco Bell and all these other places. They're not real guacamole. They're using Mexican squash. And then they put the limes and the lemon and the tomatoes and the onions Tomatio and whatever and, the... and everything into that. And it's like a little watery kind of, it's not... But it tastes like guacamole, kind of. Kind of. Yeah. But I know what avocado tastes like. It don't taste like that. I just thought it was just cheap guacamole. Yeah, it's, a, it's a recipe from Mexico it's, where you turn squash into a guacamole type make, sauce. Yeah, to maximize your profits. But now <laughs> the bigger... <laughs> but they can't call it guacamole if it's not fucking guacamole. Well, if you don't know what it is, you can call it whatever you want, right? No, you know, that's, that's what... Works. I don't right, know, maybe, you know? I don't know. There's no law saying you can't call it guacamole. There should be. They're not calling it avocado salad. They're calling it guacamole. True. Guacamole could be anything. Right. Yeah, well, folks, right. tell you're us right. if, if you've ever had fake guacamole or the fake fish and chips or vinegar. Or if you think you're having fake guacamole, <laughs> let us know. You are listening to the Audio Missile Podcast. Well, back in the old days... There was old-fashioned anal bleaching. But <laughs> right. I remember that growing up as a little kid. Huh? Yeah, yeah, when you were a porn star and you have a lot of close-ups on your butthole, you want to have a pretty butthole. But what's going on? What's the new thing going on? Well, this one's called perennium sunning. What the hell is that? Perennium yeah. is your anus. And so sphincter fucking sh yeah, yeah. shine sh sunshine suntanning. Yeah. So they stick their ass out. So they stick their ass out of a window or well, what? You know what? All started with the vi when a video went viral by a. Uh, an artist named Raw of Earth, where he said that 30 seconds a day of anal sun tanning will give you all the vitamin D you need and energize your body. What a douche. And, you know, <laughs> and it caught on because later a, a woman named uh, Metaphysical Megan, she put out a video where she gets all the vitamin D With she a name needs. like that, she's a fucking nut. Right. <laughs> well, hey, no, on Twitter, dude, she went viral, my boy. Oh, no, she went, she went viral so already. Now, a lot listen, of people go viral. She says it, it, balance, it balances her hormones and helps her sleep better. So... So if I stick my ass out the window every morning for 30 <laughs> fucking seconds and let the sun shine where the sun don't shine. Shine, you heard the same. <laughs> <laughs> the hell's going to soak it up? Well, guess, you know, guess what? Now, Josh Brolin. I'm pretty sure his boyfriend's You know, You know Josh Brolin is uh, Thanos from uh, Avengers Endgame. Okay. Yeah, he decided he would try it. And oh, he burned no. his ass. He needed like cream and olive oil and stuff. Had to call the fucking nine one one. His boyfriend, dude, home. Joshua. You know, you've been, Josh Brolin's <laughs> been in trouble too. He got a bit arrested several See, times. So his boyfriend helped him out. No, <laughs> no. I'm telling you, bro. So that's the new thing now is perennium sunning, anal bleaching. What are so if they hear? So if they say put a pickle up your ass and it makes you feel better, they're gonna do it or what? All right. This is now, ridiculous. Hey, you might have to. Now, my, like, now my boy, they're just going by. How, what's the science behind it? Is there mm -hmm. any proof, scientific proof? Well, there's a guy who put out a step by step guide. And so Rob Earth. Well, first, it. open up your butt. Right. Yeah. Second, we'll put, put it right. toward the sun. <laughs> yeah. Third, yeah. count for thirty, and boom, you're done. Well, well how, how you fucking know, hard is that? Well, you know, we're gonna include that because we're coming up with the list. It's called the funny.
funniest shit of 2019. Okay, what's going on? You know, so that we're adding that one to one to listen. Yeah. So tell us what you think, folks. Over this next couple of weeks, we're going to be telling you some of the craziest shit we saw last year. Then you'll vote. Let tell us know. what the best one is. If you like sun in your bun. Están escuchando el misil de audio. No se los olvide suscribir y puchar me gusta. Well, the police have been in the news this past couple of months for not necessarily good things. Hmm. And I think this is another bad thing. What's going on? Well, in Kansas, Harrington, Harrington Police Department, you heard about the guy who went to McDonald's, the police officer. and uh, In Kansas? Yeah, and somebody wrote on his cup. Pig or some shit like that, Fucking right? pigs. Fucking pigs. Yeah, and so he put it, uh, he told his, uh, his captain there. The police chief of the town, his name was Brian Hornaday, and I remember it when it came out. We're like, damn, who does that? Like, you got balls to do that. Yeah, yeah. especially to write that on the cup. Especially out of Starbucks, where there's right. all kinds of cameras and stuff everywhere, right? Well, you know, uh, this happened out of McDonald's. Oh, it's McDonald's, like, yeah, I Starbucks. Yeah, the McDonald's, the Starbucks you know. And so, and and the and the manager of the McDonald's like, what are you talking about? We support the police, you know. He he, he didn't, but he wasn't going for it. So they did a review, and looked at the cameras, and it just turned out that. It was fake. It was fake. What an idiot. He did it himself. So he's an attention whore. Well, guess what? The the, the same no, police... No respect to whores. Right, huh? <laughs> well, well, that police chief now is trying to cover for him. He fired, but he's not giving up his name. Fuck. He just said he was 23 years old. He was reckless. We fired him because he says we've lost... He, or what he said was it was a violation of public trust. Of course. And so he's like, look, we're not going Automatic for that. You know, you know, because because they... They uh, risk their lives every day. They put other people's lives in jeopardy. So it's a fine balance. So, you know, they don't want that kind of stuff. So they got accused, rid of him. He's accusing the community okay. of something they didn't do. It, like, yeah, it creates, yeah, yeah, yeah. It creates distrust. And so, because like I said, the owner of McDonald's said, no, nah, I was trying to tell you, we support police. Yeah, but know? McDonald's cool with the cops. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, you know, think twice when you see this stuff out there, folks. Always, you know, some things might be fake. You know, so before you react, and don't be a fucking know, idiot, okay? You, know, you fucking course, don't true. try to get attention by writing some stupid shit on the fucking cup, all right? Go, <laughs> you want to get some attention? Go do some shootings or something like that, <laughs> the good old fashioned way. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm just playing around, just kidding. Nah, just fucking suck it up, dude. If you're feeling lonely or depressed, go see a psychiatrist. Don't right? Be a, That's don't be a jackass. Get some help. Stay tuned. The Audio Missile Podcast will be right back. All right. So, I guess there's a lot of people out there who like to steal things and automobiles and boats and planes and stuff. <laughs> and most of the time when you steal a car, you just take the car and there's nothing in it. Right. <laughs> but in this occasion, this guy stole a car with people and an animal in it. What kind of animal? A goat. Oh, shit, a goat. That's right, my so boy. So, how the fuck can you not notice a goat? Well, it was in the back seat. They're calling it a goat now. Well, goats are big. No, nothing. Some, some it was a baby big, goat. Yeah, or just what? a baby goat. Now, mm. now check this out. Well, don't think like eh. right. <laughs> so two men and a goat in a truck. They pull into a, a an adult bookstore. So the goat wanted porn. No. Well, we don't know. <laughs> well, the the owner the owner of the truck goes into the adult bookstore, okay. and the old man and the goat are sleeping in the back seat. Well, that's when the perpetrator comes along. He breaks into that's the truck. That's funny. That's funny because the guy was driving, and he was probably horny. And he wanted to pick up some fucking mags or some right, shit something yeah. for a movie. <laughs> right. And he couldn't get to it. But then he noticed these two people are like, oh shit, the goat and the guy are passed out. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, my that's my opportunity to go get my porn. Well, so he pulls over and goes to the store. Well, then what happens? You, his name, <laughs> that that was forty year old Brandon Kirby. And so what it, he had a gun, he took him hostage. Well, uh, without knowing, right? Without well, no, knowing we started it up. We knew in a couple. Of, as soon as he started driving, they woke up. They're like, "Hey, asshole! Yeah, where are you he, going?" He had a gun. <laughs> he hit, you know, he hit him with the gun. He pistol whipped him a few times. The oh, goat, no, the, the goat? old man. Oh, no, that's that's it. From there, he went through Missouri. Then he went through Kansas, and then he went to Oklahoma. It would have been better if he would have pistol whipped the goat. No, I know. <laughs> no. <laughs> that would have been funnier. No. Like now, listen, Shut up, no, goat. No, but listen, at that point in Oklahoma, the, the man finally convinced him, let me and the goat go. The goat's hungry. Yeah. Let now, us let's, go. So he pulled over. He pulled over, let him go. At that point, the, the OnStar had been activated. You know, the GPS OnStar yeah. thing. Yeah. So, they, so at that point. Remember, the, I always say this. Technology is not your friend. Right. And what happened? No, so no, no. The police are chasing him at that point. They act activate the engine to slow the engine down they put spike strips and they pull him over he, and he's on meth he's all crystal methed out he has a gun he's a wanted felon for 
He has multiple hey, robberies okay, and okay. burglaries. And just <laughs> all tweakers will not steal cars. Okay? <laughs> making all tweakers look bad. <laughs> <laughs> and what happened with the goat? That's what I'm concerned about. Well, lucky he let the old man and the goat. He, he convinced him on the way. He said, hey, you should let me and the hey, goat the go. Goat tongue, you're doing yeah, something. let us go. They already ate half the <laughs> fucking seat over here in the right. back. <laughs> <Get out. laughs> can, you, can, can you imagine the old man, the, the, the owner of the truck comes out of the adult bookstore like, hey, where's my car? Gone. He's with his uh, adult bookstores and his dildos. And See, all that wouldn't have happened <laughs> if he had a sheep. Oh. <laughs> yeah, hi everybody. You're listening to All the Missile Podcasts. Make sure you subscribe and like. And make sure you tell your friends that we are and should.